welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making guacamole and tacos. So for the guacamole, when I was younger, apparently I made guacamole for the family and they really liked it. And I made guacamole for my sister's basketball tournament and the coaches liked it, her teammates liked it. I made it for like a cultural class and everybody liked it. And my family always seemed to like it when I make it. So let's get to the kitchen. Here we are. All right, so let me put my hair up. The most important thing I like to do when I start cooking is wash my hands because it's an easy way for people to get sick and because you don't want to get yourself sick and anybody else sick. All right. So if you like rice in your tacos, the first thing you want to do is start making your rice. In case you do not have a rice maker, I'm going to make it on the stove just to show you how to make rice on the stove if you do not have a rice maker. So let's get started. The rice that I'm making is jasmine rice. If you have a different type of rice, it's still the same process. Yours will probably need more water or less water depending on how you want it to look like. So you're gonna need three cups of rice, put it in a bowl and wash it. And then you're going to put the rice in a pot and add four cups of water to the pot and put it on a stove at medium and cover it and let it cook. All right, once you're done prepping your rice, you wanna get your ground beef. Put your ground beef in a pan and just chop it up into smaller pieces so that they are easier to cook. Don't forget about your rice. If you do, you're going to end up burning it and you don't want burned rice in the tacos. When most of the water is gone on the rice, you're just going to stir it and turn off the stove, cover it back up and let it sit. Once your ground beef goes from red to brown, you want to continue chopping it up just to make sure that it's all cooked. Once it's all cooked, you want to grab your strainer and put soap on the bottom of the disposal so the disposal doesn't clog up when you're done. And then you're going to strain your ground beef. You're going to put the ground beef back into the pan once you're done draining it and add one fourth cup of water to it. If you add too much water, it's going to turn into sloppy joe meat. Once you're done, you're going to add the taco seasoning to the ground beef and you're going to mix it together. Then you're going to grab the lid to the pan and cover it up so that it can just stay warm. And you're going to move both of your pan off of the stove so that they don't burn. Right, time for the fun part of the cooking so for the guacamole you are going to need um, you're going to need two tomatoes one for the taco and one for the guacamole lemon if you are allergic to citric don't put lemon in your guacamole cilantro if you do not like cilantro you do not have to put it in your guacamole four avocados and you're going to need onions. If you do not like onions, too bad. And then you're going to need some seasoning salt, some pepper, and just some, some salt as well. And then you're going to need three bowls, one for the onions, one for the tomatoes, one for the cilantro, a large bowl for the guacamole to mix. So it. let's start off with peeling our onion. Now we wash everything. And then we start cutting it.
once you're done cutting everything, you're going to want to start on your avocado. Okay, to get the seed out, hold it and twist. Uh, if your avocado did not peel as easily as these did, you can always just get a spoon and scoop it. And voila! Now we smash our avocados. You will take a smasher, if you have a smasher, and just smash it. But if you do not have a smasher, you can always take a glass cup and just smash it with the bottom of your uh, cup. So usually when I'm done smashing my avocado, I just go ahead and put everything in and then add my salt and pepper and lemon juice. But to be precise, we're going to just measure it all out so you know how much of what to put in to your um, guacamole. So to start her off, I have one fourth cup and then I have a tablespoon, one tablespoon, and then I have one teaspoon. So we're just gonna start with the onions. A tablespoon of cilantro and if you do choose like you need to put more of any of your recipe feel free to put as much as you need mix it let's go ahead and cut our lemon we're going to put one teaspoon of lemon juice one teaspoon of seasoning salt, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and then for the pepper, we're also going to put one fourth teaspoon of pepper. And it's all done. All right, so I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching my channel again. Goodbye.